Isabel. How are you? Do you want to ride? I'm going towards Old Street, towards your office. Come on in. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. I've been trying to get a cab to get back to the office, so uh, you really helped me out. Thank you. Well, you know, I'm going towards your office, uh, towards Old Street, so why not? Well, very convenient. Thank you. It's funny, um, a few weeks ago, actually, I was in Dublin at a conference and I was moderating a keynote panel and your CEO, Carl Grivner, was on it. <laughs> it was really, actually, one of the best panels I'd moderated, in fairness. And uh, we were talking about digital transformation, of mm. course, and uh, the impact or the opportunities, the challenges that came from the digital transformation in our industry. Right. Uh, so I guess everyone's talking about that. What's your view? I, I'm a bit curious to know, <laughs> what do you think this will change in our industry? Will it change the role of the carrier at all? What, right. what do you think? Well, I heard about your uh, panel, so you? congratulations, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Clearly, it's a, a big uh, topic of the moment. Um, and uh, I think one for carriers, for us, you know, we can play a very important role in transformation. And I guess what we've been seeing for the last four, five, six years or so is companies looking to take advantage of new tools to change their business. Right? They're deploying new cloud applications because they can be deployed more quickly, they can take out cost, it makes them more agile. Mm -hmm. You see them looking to take advantage of the power of big compute and marry that with data analytics and marry that with AI to again make their processes more efficient mm -hmm. and more effective. You see companies looking to use e-commerce more effectively and be online. That enables them to get into new markets and access new customers. So I think we've got a big role to play. In, in Colt, we speak of using our network as a platform. Uh, and what we're looking to do is use our high bandwidth agile network to make sure companies can reach the data centers they need, reach the customers they need. We sort of go from two extremes. We have the extreme of being able to support the very high bandwidth requirements of data center to data center. But also through our 27,000 buildings we've got on net, we can bring customers and end customer locations back to that data center, back to the cloud service providers. Mm -hmm an exciting time I yes. think if you can really harness that I think it's going to be really good for the service providers and the carriers I guess supporting them Indeed. and talking about excitement <laughs> obviously you know I'm going to come up with 5G yeah. <laughs> you know everyone's getting excited or maybe a bit overexcited yeah. about 5G but I think it's I think it will be a, a trigger for change in our industry and a trigger for change maybe for carriers as well that can address that opportunity but I don't know What's the role of carriers in 5G? Is there one and how do you see that? Yeah, right now? yeah, no, and I think, look, it's clearly another big buzzword. We're going to hear about 5G mm -hmm. more and more. I think carriers and carriers that particularly have a dense fiber network, a dense access network, we're going to play an important role mm -hmm. in helping enable 5G. Mm -hmm. um, I've got, and I've got sort of three perspectives. One is we're going definitely going to see these new business cases, these new business models these new businesses that we've not seen before because we haven't really seen how the technology yeah. Yeah. is going to enable. But my colleagues tell me this is going to be a journey. It's not just an overnight upgrade, it's an evolution, it's an important evolution. And so it's going to take new standards, new investment, new devices to really see the power of 5G. And that's going to be a three, four, five year journey. Um, but what I'm also clear on is to get the full benefit of this high bandwidth, low latency network, the network edge is going to have to be much closer to the customer and the network sales sites are going to need to be closer to the customer, the device, the building, the vehicle. And that edge is then going to need to connect on to high bandwidth and reliable network. And edge, I think, is the new buzzword of 2019, added to all the other buzzwords. <laughs> and I'm, all, I'm learning all about it. I'm definitely not an edge expert, but I think it's a very interesting place for carriers to play a new role in, I think. And uh, I mean, we haven't met for a while now, and I'm a bit curious, you know, I've been, I've been following you, obviously, but what are the new exciting things you can share with Mia? What's going on yes. in your roadmap? You know, what has yes. been happening since we've met last? Well, you know, I me, I always like to know the secrets. Well, well, I think the last time we met was nearly a year ago. Yes. We were just announcing our uh, expansion into North America. Mm -hmm. So we, by and large, completed that. We also announced an expansion into Eastern Europe. Uh, an expansion of our metro into key digital hubs such mm -hmm. as uh, Berlin and Dublin. Also uh, extended the IQ network out to Sydney and Australia. And what that is really doing is 
extending that digital platform that I talked about, uh, providing connectivity to more data centers, more customer buildings, more key digital hubs, so customers and our partners can use that to help their business. So that's, that's very busy for us. Also, um, expanding our on-demand capability and making yes. that more available in more markets. And through our on-demand uh, model, we basically make the network more agile. So yeah, lots going on and a lot to keep us busy. And then we'll obviously be busy at ITW as well. Yeah. I'm so happy I caught you on the street and I, I was able to give you a ride to the office. Well, thanks a lot again. It's been great catching up and you really helped me out. Thank you. Thank you. And lovely to see you again. Take yeah. care and travel safely to okay. Atlanta. See you in a couple Be of weeks. Be careful, you might see me in your plane. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, driver. That was really good. Appreciate it. Cheers. Have a good day. See you again. Thank you so much for stopping at his office, by the way. I wonder who else I'm going to find on my way.